Hi guys, Kenny McLean here. Hope you're all doing well. Today is one year on from us winning the league at Aston Villa. So I'm going to get a few of the boys on um, this chat and we'll talk about some memories we have from that and just just what we remember from that day, from the celebrations, from everything. So hope you can enjoy. Steepy, what's happening, son? Yeah. Um, How are you, son? How are you, son? You okay? No, you? You don't look like you're coping well. Running is killing me. Oh, hello. Can he speak English yet? I was saying, one year today from Bella. Yeah, I know, mate. One year. What a time. So quick already, huh? What a time. Oh, I, mean, I, was, I think I was best player in the championship. I think, you, I, I think so. I voted for you. You know you're not allowed to vote for your own team. I still voted for you. I know. That's what I've done. You and me, mate. You're the best. I only played about 10 games. I just came in for the crunch time. I just came in for the big games. Is there a better, any better left foot player? Than us, no, no, no chance. See, I only started. I only started playing though, like February time, maybe. So I just mm. came in when we were starting to think, right, we're going to win this league here, or we're going to, we're going to be getting promoted. Because that's when I started to think about it. When did you think like we we come up here? I think after Leeds. Leeds away, that was a game, eh? Yeah, and then from that game on was like every game we were winning. Mate, we went on a mad run. It was since I came in the team. Confidence was like... As soon as I got fit, confidence, everybody's confidence went up. <laughs> you think? Yeah. It was... I, I think, could feel, I could feel I think, sudden confidence. I think even training wouldn't be needed. So, without yeah, training... Well, we would have games anyway, but... At that time, everybody... Like, I got in the team because injuries. We had like five midfielders injured. So I got into the yeah. team after my injury, but then everybody was coming back fit, so we had a whole squad for the running. And everybody, yeah. when the team was getting changed, somebody was coming in. Yeah, we it, just swapped the players and... It was, it was unreal, but Leeds was a game for me. The pressing game, remember that was a shocker. Oh yeah, that was horrendous. <sighs> we went from there, <laughs> but that was probably good for us. I think that was good. Yeah. Like losing that game in was, the yeah. minute. So then I came in the Bolton game after that. Was down on earth to us. Oh, that was us. Feet back in the ground. So I came <laughs> in for the Bolton game and then played the rest. Oh, yeah, you played Bolton. Bolton and then we went, that's when you we missed the penalty there, yeah? What? You missed the penalty there, yeah? Oh, your signal's away, mate. I don't know what you're saying. And Tottenham as well, huh? Oh, you're the worst, pen you're you're the worst penalty taker in the world. Before I came here, I was 18 from 18. No one knows. But that was any mannequins. I was hitting any mannequins. <laughs> <laughs> There's the main man there. There's the third best player in the championship last season. Yeah. Pookie, what's happening? Hello. Nothing really. We're going to have some beers now as well. What did you say just ever? <laughs> One year anniversary. I, what game did you start to think last year? Nah. Leeds at home. Leeds away. <laughs> Leeds, oh, Leeds away. at home. Oh, remember? <laughs> <laughs> what did you think after that? League One? I don't. <laughs> I, I was injured that game. I watched it. Threw my fingers no at it. Oh, no. That was a bad game. That was so bad. And then leads away, made up for it. Did you score two there, Pookie? Just one. Mario scored two. Ah, Mario scored two. Remember your goal? Everybody just stopped. Yeah. 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 Everyone was thought it was offside. Yeah. Never what was the toughest game this season? What? What was oh, the toughest last game? Year? Brought it away. That's what I just says to yeah. Stevie. How horrible was that? Yeah. My God. The wind, everything, it was so bad. 
That's what I was saying. They were taking thrones and stick it in a box. But you remember, you remember Holloway? Oh, oh God, was it? I think it was the worst game. game. I swear. What was the score again? Del del. No, no. You couldn't sweat on the pitch. It was too cold. <laughs> really? It was the most boring game of the season. Nothing yeah. happened. Yeah. I can't remember that. But see, when I was watching the games, we were just winning every week. I was so desperate to get back. And then I got back and couldn't get in the team. And then, yeah, that's then how it went. Injuries, I got in. That's how it went last year. No? You played until you get injured. And then someone else took your place. And... That, that's what happened. That, that's, that's how, especially the last, what, three months, we were getting injuries and somebody was just coming in. And the person that came in was always scoring. <laughs> if, you, then, if you missed a game, you knew that was you for a few weeks. I mean, was, Mario, he was a uh, player of the month of the whole league. And he got injured and he didn't play for next month when yeah. he came back. Yeah, so he did. There's Grizzly there. <laughs> Where is he? Can you hear us? Grant. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, turn the camera on. Turn it off, yes. please. Oh, hello, Baldy. How are you? Mate. Granny. Harry, the hairiest man in the world. I put him on speaker. Hello, mate. I'm in back garden. Baldy, are you getting on this phone call or what? Yeah, I'm just waiting. Oh, have you connected oh, to him? Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh, look at that for a barnet. <laughs> look at that barnet. You're sitting at the back when the sun is just hitting me. <laughs> Your hair is growing. <laughs> right. oh, the, don't know about he's that. A, he's got some fertilizer on that, happening? definitely. <laughs> Grant, his hair is growing. Ah, uh, he's had fertilizer on it, mate. Been <laughs> using what you've been using, mate. <laughs> Rochi! Oh, man. Are you using that? <laughs> oh, he's came prepared, didn't he? He knew you were coming here, Rochi. That's shocking. Yeah. I swear to God, that was just pure luck. That's Logo. shocking. That's shocking, Kenny. It's looking tremendous, though. Roger, we were speaking about games last year that that you like. You started thinking we are we've gone up here, or we've gone we've gone to win the league on when you thought we had a chance. Um, Swansea away. Swansea away. That was yeah. the early. early doors. Yeah, and oh, T Timo scored. Um, did he score two that game? Yeah, Amy scored the name. I Amy scored as well, okay? <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking after my strike partner there. Um, yeah, I think it was like 3 0 after like 20 minutes or something. Yeah. And I just thought from then on, because like we were going there and it was Swansea were all right at the time. I think they were just outside top six. And I was thinking at the time, oh, this is going to be a tough game. We just blew them apart in about 20 minutes and that was that done. I was thinking, do you know what? We've got half a chance here. Do you remember this one you gave at home? Oh, yeah. They absolutely oh. battled us. Yeah, but yeah. we won. Them but there was though. a time we just were winning games. Yeah. yeah, that was Dan James, weren't it? Flying down. The, he was good, weren't he? Who scored yeah. that game? Emmy. Emmy. Yeah. I mean, they, were, they were like, had the leather back in that, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Passing out, we couldn't get near them. Oh, they bopped us. Yeah. Leads away, that's the one we all mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. That was a big one. Yeah. That was weird though, wasn't it? We couldn't believe that, that, that performance and that result, wasn't it? Like, after it, you were like... Oh. Yeah. It was like surreal, wasn't it? Absolutely battered them. Mm. Yeah. They were really I good. I missed a lot of the game. I just watched Bielsa on his wee stool. <laughs> watching. I got a punch in the back of the heat that game. He was? Yes, he did. In dugout, yeah. we were getting pelts. <laughs> I was getting absolute dogs abuse in the dugout. Yeah, you were. Um, and I, honestly, so I was like resting at the back of the dugout. Mahid was like, because it's clear for like plastic, isn't it? Mm. Sitting like that, Mahid against the back. It, some guy just went like that, whack, right on the back of Mahid. How was the guy's hand? Uh, broken, definitely. <laughs> Shattered his hand, I think. 
<laughs> uh, Roji was there. I had back, Roji as backup though, so I felt quite safe. I was there as well. I was on the bench. Were you? Yeah. I mean, Roji came on. Did we come on at the same time, Roji? Yeah, mine had done. I think yeah. we did. Mm. Did you remember when uh, Wigan lost to Leeds? Uh, uh, when Wigan won that game oh, against yeah. Leeds? We played at night. Yeah, yeah and we, we played in the, whole in, in the evening. Yeah. Me and Pookie yeah. sat in the... Because we were in the hotel at the time. Me and Pookie yeah. just, sat and, watched, just yeah. sat and watched it on a wee, a wee pitch. Yeah. A live score. Oh. When, they, like, when it's going oh, like, who has the ball? Unbelievable. Like, now Leeds have a ball. We were like so nervous. Men? Did Wigan have 10 men? Yeah. That was well, when we were at the airport and watching. That's the uh, best one. Eh? We're watching Benford. Uh, Sheffield. Benford. Oh yeah, Sheffield and Marshy missed the penalty. And Marshy oh, missed the right. penalty. <laughs> when they drew, and then they still, yeah, they were still scored after that. What was the game as well? Was it Rotherham that was on the big screen? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Sheffield Leeds. We were there before the game. Before the game. Leeds was on. Yeah. Yeah. Who won that game? Sheffield? Sheffield, yeah. Sheffield won the... Uh, away, yeah. Yeah. So there was loads of things that kept looking to go against us and something just happened and it went in our favour. The we one for me is that, that Leeds-Brentford game though. Leeds when Brentford we just drew at Stoke. Oh. We didn't go off the bus at the airport. Oh. Wigan. The Wigan game. Oh, yeah. It wasn't Stoke, I don't think. I think it was Wigan. No, it's was it? Stoke. Oh, was it's after Stoke. Because we drew, didn't we? We drew and we were gutted thinking we, just like drew. We, uh, we made a mess. And we were so disappointed mm. after we that game. Uh, we were uh, We would have crumbled. Uh, remember it was about 5 million degrees. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. told Ken you that already. It was so hot. Hottest day ever. But we battered in first half, remember? Like... Yeah. It was like a pre-season game, mm-hmm. and then we, our twitchers went, <laughs> and we, we, we started to panic. Can you do it in a cold, rainy night at Stoke? <laughs> yes, but we can't do it on a Scottish day, because my Scottish kin can't handle it. Villa was... Uh, but, but see, the see, before the game, I, I just always felt we would have we got what we needed. I never felt like... Nervous as to no one in the league. I couldn't remember. Uh, you came off, Kenny, didn't you? I came off after 20 minutes, half an hour. Uh, I can remember. You were in the tunnel to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Went in the dressing room, put his mad dog in the fridge. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the beer's all nice. No, but I was saying, remember, they, they had dropped Gilish McGinn and Mings, the three biggest players, weren't it? Uh, yeah. So right away you were like, right, that gives us an even better chance. And then the Pookie stepped up, golden boot moment. That was the one Pookie, wasn't it? No, I think even if I didn't score, I would win it. All right, mate, scored a few. <laughs> you yeah. yeah. already have wrapped up. But that was the one. See you guys. See you, Stevie. You like Absolutely, Stevie. Man. It was a pleasure. Too far. Um, <laughs> Scottish guys. <laughs> see you later, mate. Granny, that's when you became Pookie's hairdresser after the game. Yeah. I uh, know. I was trying to convince Rosie to get the mohawk and all, but he said his when they come uh, back. Okay. <laughs> and you can do, again, whenever we play next game, you can do my haircut for that game, whatever you want. Oh. I mean, he can again. Whatever oh, you want. Give him the beer and Aldo. He's not going to the front. No, but enough at the front to give him the Ronaldo. That's true. <laughs> just like, he patch has plenty to just shave the rest. Right, right off, Mac 3. Rosie, who's Don't... been coming out here? Emma. She's been talking her through it. Yeah. Did get the YouTube videos and that up? No, just from experience, from from a lifetime of experience of going to the barbers. Well, give us a wee, give us a wee, show us the sides and back. It's a bit severe on the side. Holy smokes! Yeah, it's a bit severe on the side, but not that we won't fix. Week's time, won't we'll be able to know. Be right. Yeah. What about you? Says, says they work on the top. Oh no, leave the top. <laughs> <laughs>
Whatever you do, uh, <laughs> do not touch the top. <laughs> Pookie, when did we decide that was happening? I think it was on the way there, no? I think it was. The way to be like day, like day before. But we said if we, if we win the league, you're getting a mohawk. Yeah. On the bus, I'm going to say yeah. You know what, the I Mohawk think... really suited you, Timo. Yeah. yeah. It actually I had it looked for, really good. Well, I, I like it, didn't it? Half months. Yeah. <laughs> like, what's your thought process when you're gone out on the balcony with a hat on, with a bell, and the bottle of Mad Dog? Steve up. <laughs> or is there <laughs> no thought process? <laughs> no, I can remember. The guy, the, the guy was right in front of us, speaking to us, and I just went off. And that's, you know, you know, you get shouted out. They say, oh, coming out is, right. and I went out with Stipe, Tom, I think, and me. So we were getting out, and I grabbed the, the hat and the bell. No, Stipe grabbed the bell, and I grabbed his hat. And then when I went out, I still didn't think he, I, I, I don't know, I was just like, oh, it's just a hat. I didn't know who the guy was. He was he was all right with it at first, like he thought it was funny, but then it got to a stage where he was like, I want that hat back. Aye. That's big Timmy K. Tim Crow. What's happening, Tim? Rosie. How are you, mate? <laughs> there he is, man. <laughs> you good? Well? Yeah, good, mate. Good, good, good. Good. Trying to uh, survive this uh, homeschooling stuff. Oh, no, I forgot you have to do that. Yeah. You're that bit older, aren't you? So I've had Granty on, Pookie, Steepy, had a few of the boys on and we were just speaking about um, like leading up to that game and that, or even before that, go back, so back to before that, when, when did you start to, to feel that we were we were going to be in that situation, you know what I mean? When, what game do you think felt like, right, we're, we're going up here, we're going to get promoted? Was it the game when Leeds... Messed up at Brentford when we're all in the bus. I think that's the the biggest moment for us. Yeah, we did, yeah. we, did we, we mentioned that. How good was that? That was just the the feeling. I think when everybody <laughs> the game was obviously on Sky and um, we had it on in the bus and everybody just when that final whistle went, we, we were celebrating um, every throw in and and oh, time. I yeah, but what about our game that day, Stoke? That's what it was. Yeah, Stoke. We were. Good, yeah. And we we kept like, changing. Oh, we 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 thought we well we, we missed a big chance, didn't we? And uh, and everybody in the changing room was like heads down, and we're like, oh no, we're gonna mess this up. And then <laughs> the lift wall hat in that bus was oh, just my one God. of the best things ever. Celebrate! We actually were celebrating every throw. That was amazing. <laughs> Most of the boys have mentioned that. That yeah. was so good. Do you know what so. though? Thinking back and what the points total that Leeds ended up getting, I know obviously they they feelings and performances towards the end but the goal that actually got us up I think was Mario's you know the last minute at home yeah. to Wednesday yeah. yeah I think that was the one that that yeah, point that was... got us promoted mm. yeah yeah what, what was that before Stoke then yeah the game before Stoke yeah because we did we draw four in a row or something like that I think yeah we it was something like that we drew mm. three or four in a row and we were like oh no we cannot go over the line here mm. And then that was the game, the game that we weren't involved in that probably just done it. I remember Rosie yeah. just calming everybody. He's like, no, it's fine, boys. We only need four or five points. And we're all looking at him saying, no, no, no. We definitely oh. need more. Wall Street. Uh, <laughs> oh, Rosie had it all calculated. And then in the end, yeah, he was right. I mean, Mario's free kick. I mean, the explosion of the stadium. And then, oh, yeah. wow. That was some free kick considering the circumstances. I can remember I was next to somebody. And um, I was standing like next to the ball. And somebody was like, I'll oh, follow it in. And I was like, nah, wait, this is the last kick anyway. So, like, this is all or nothing, basically. Mm. Oh, my God, when that hit the back of the net. Yeah. That was tremendous. No, but then the Villa game, Tim, like, I was, I was so confident getting out of that. I don't know why. I felt, I felt like we only needed a draw. I just felt like we, we had done all the hard work before then. Yeah, I, mean? I think that the nerves were, I think, the weeks beforehand leading up to oh, yeah, that. I was right. I was right that game. Uh, yeah, no, the Villa game was more let's just do it kind of feeling. Aye. Yeah, I think I agree with you. And I mean, I mean, the relief obviously 
the icing on the cake to actually lift the trophy. I think that was the. I that, that Rosie was saying that it just made it so much better. Like obviously promotions the the big thing, but then just when you top it with that game, oh, I, was that a late goal as well? I think it was about maybe ten minutes to go. Was it Mario's goal? That was Mario again with his right foot, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was about ten minutes to go. But I would say that came off injured that game, so I was keeping an eye on the Sheffield United game, uh, and I don't think they were ever winning. I think they were always behind the drone. So I was sitting on the bench. I came off injured in the first half. I used my knee, just sitting, just buzzing, just rubbing my hands. Just yeah. Obviously, I, I, I knew the score there. I knew it was kind of a all but done. And then when, but when the whistle went, man, everybody started piling towards the fans, like running towards the fans. But I came off with my knee. That big cord landed on me. Oh my God, I was in bits. I'm hobbling 30 <laughs> yards behind everybody. I was fuming. But Granny picked me up and just ran towards the fans. Yeah. That was so good, though. Amazing. And then obviously just lifting the trophy there, back on the flight, and then a few days on it. It was good times. And you know what? What a smashing bunch of boys it was as well. Yeah. Obviously, you still got it there, but yeah. The, the team spirit. I know everybody does say it, but the team spirit, the fact. I just think that added so many points to what we already had. I have a lot of last minute goals in it. You like you don't that's not just like a fluke, that's not a, mm. you know what I mean? That's, yeah. We'd run through walls for one another if we really would. But you're right though, the team spirit, I mean, in the championship, if you don't have that, there's no chance. Because mm-hmm. there's so many trips away. You're on the bus, you're on the plane, uh, you're in a hotel. We stayed up for three, four four days, was it, between Preston and Bolton? Uh, like you live in each other's pockets and I know. Training. You can start to get like you can start to get sick of each other, but it wasn't it wasn't really like that. It never got to that point, did it? See, but see when no. you're winning, things are just like, you know yeah. what it's like. That season um, knitted the the fans and the players and the club uh, so much more, and and that's why I think if you from the moment I walked through this club, the start of last season, the way the atmosphere is now into the ground, everybody. Um, accepts what direction this club is going and, and it's just it's, it's incredible like especially now we're, we're bottom of the league but the crowd isn't putting a they're not on our backs or you know it's like and that's incredible that's that's a big thing here like you're sitting bottom of the league like fans have got every right to you know have their say and maybe give you a bit of stick here and there but as a club I think everybody just appreciates that everybody wants the same thing you know what I mean everybody wants to stay up everybody wanted to do as well last year and the fans still appreciate last season, you know, that you see my daughter. She appreciates it. <laughs> oh, Apologies. Um, I, the, the, the bond with the, with the fans and that, like, even towards the end of last season, remember the away, the away fans? Wigan. Yeah. We, were, we were taking... Took over. Took yeah, over back of that goal. We were taking so many fans to away games and it was, it was incredible. Hope you enjoyed that, guys, as reliving um, last year's success. Obviously, a year on from it. Hope you can look back at some great memories and remember them yourselves. But for now, please stay home, stay safe and save lives. Thank you.